How to install Norscan's 51200 Transmitter Protection Assembly. Norscan's durable and reliable 51200 Transmitter Protection Assembly provides surge protection from 60 Hz induced AC and high transient voltages. Our TPA has a simple connection diagram mounted to the inside cover of its polyethylene case, is easy to access and install. The short way. Step by step. Along with the TPA, the following material will also be found inside its packaging. Four mounting brackets, four mounting bracket screws, and an application and installation insert. You'll need the following equipment to successfully install Norscan's 51200 TPA. Norscan's 1303 system test set, or a digital multimeter, a quarter inch Phillips screwdriver, a small sharp tool for piercing the access ports, a 3 8 inch can wrench or nut driver, a 1 8 inch and quarter inch slotted standard screwdriver, a wire stripper, a number six and fork connector crimper, six terminal lugs, three fork terminal connectors, two color-coded six gauge wires long enough to get from the cable armor to TPA, one six gauge green wire to get from the building ground to TPA, and two pairs of 22 gauge wires long enough to get from the 4200 shelf to TPA. Step one, safety. If your Norscan 4200 CMS is already connected, please power it down. Induced AC and transient voltages can be present on cable armor causing electric shock. Check for pre-existing AC or DC voltages using the Norscan 1303 system test set or a digital multimeter. You'll also need to temporarily ground the cable armor to prevent electric shock. Once you know that there is no voltage on the cables and that the cables have been grounded, Let's move on to installing Norscan's 51200 TPA. Step 2. Polyethylene Case Installation Attach one mounting bracket to each of the four back corners of the TPA's case and secure the supplied screws with a quarter inch slotted or standard screwdriver. Find a sturdy mounting location close to the fiber cable terminations in the cable vault that gives the 6 gauge wire leads enough length so that they can easily reach from the bullet bonds on the cable armor and building ground to TPA entry ports without causing tension or bends at an inappropriate angle. Install mounting hardware as per your company specifications so that the TPA will be secured to the wall. Step 3. Connection Procedure Gently pierce each of the three sealed access ports on the base of the TPA with a small sharp tool to allow the wires to be pushed through the diaphragm grommets. Typically line 1 is left, line 2 is right, and the ground is middle. Strip 5 8 to a half inch insulation from each wire. Crimp a terminal lug onto the wire using a number 6 crimper. Remove one nut and washer from each of the three terminal studs. As per the handy connection diagram found on the TPA's inside cover, pass each crimped wire through their appropriate access port. Connect each wire to their terminal stud, then add back the washer, then the nut, and secure with a can wrench or nut driver. Next we'll connect the 22 gauge paired wires. Loosen the screws for line 1, ground 1, line 2, and ground 2 using a 1 8 inch slotted or standard screwdriver. Strip 5 8 to a half inch insulation from each wire. Pass both paired wires through the left access port. Thread line 1 into the top position of the vertical termination connection block and ground one into the second position, then secure the screws. Next, you'll thread line two into the third position and ground two into the fourth position of the vertical termination connection block, then secure the screws. To finish step three, gently tug the wires to ensure a secured connection. If you have Norscan's 4200 CMS installed, then move on to step four. If your 4200 isn't installed yet, then move on to step five. Step 4. 4200 Cable Management System Terminal Block Connection Confirm the 4200 is powered down. To remove the terminal block cover, pinch each retention clip, then gently pull the cover away. 
Securely bond the TPA's ground wires as well as line 1 and 2 with the terminal fork. Connect the bonded ground wire to the 4200's ground position. Connect TPA line 1 to the 4200's line 1 position. The TPA line 2 connects with the 4200's line 2 position. To complete step 4, gently push the terminal block cover over the retention clips to secure it back into position. Step 5. Completing installation. Replace and secure the TPA cover with the supplied screws. Remove the temporary ground connected to the cable armors. Norscan's 51200 Transmitter Protection Assembly installation is now complete.